starting my own business was a pretty grueling decision. It was, um, you know, I had a lot of things to take into consideration, especially from a family perspective. I have a five-year-old daughter and we're uh, engaged. So when we started talking about like what the insurance options are, it's like, you know, I'm, I actually, that was when I actually paid attention to what was being deducted from the check. I'm like, man, if I have to do this on my own, like that's, you know, it's a big deal. Back when I was a college student that the uh, inspiration came. I actually graduated, but didn't have a job. So I didn't have health insurance and I got deathly ill. So in fact, I, I thought I was gonna die. Um, and I went to a medical facility and they told me I wasn't insured so they couldn't help me. Many years later, when the internet came along and I realized, wow, here's a great mechanism that could actually bridge the gap for people like me who were uninsured or didn't know where to go to get health insurance. From the beginning, we looked at this marketplace, this non-group marketplace, and it was really fragmented. It was very difficult for consumers to find health insurance plans. So we want to design a website and a web experience and a call center experience around providing real value for people who, quite frankly, didn't know a whole lot about health insurance. Uh, rather than explaining all of the detailed aspects of the product, we introduced uh, very simple, what I'll call consumer-friendly tools. Plan comparison, consumer reviews, and physician's finders. So consumers now can compare plans side by side and they can find plans associated with their doctor and they can also find out what other consumers think about, uh, about other plans on the site. If you take a snapshot of our website at any given time, uh, we know that it'll only be relevant to consumers for six or seven months. Over the 10 years, internet technologies and internet behaviors have changed quite a bit and such that consumer preference has come into the equation. And that has made it challenging for internet distribution such that we have found one selling channel methodology just doesn't work. We have a customer care center simply because we care about people. This is a very important decision for folks and they need to have the comfort of talking to someone in person. It's very important for someone to be able to pick up a, not only a live person on the phone, but a licensed agent who specializes in products for your particular state. We have over 200 licensed agents that are on the phone seven days a week. We have access to millions of consumer behaviors, how they browse, how they're coming into our website. We notice a lot of mobile website hits or a lot of mobile devices hitting our website. Um, and so we respond to that by uh, creating a mobile compatible platform. We feel that having technology that makes it easy for people to learn about health insurance, you know, potentially to buy health insurance online, that platform should be available to a variety of different websites and different distribution channels because the ultimate goal is, you know, not to have some technology, but it's to help the millions and millions of people who don't have health insurance coverage be able to find an affordable option. We wanted to solve the problem of the uninsured. We wanted to solve the problem of obtaining quality health insurance and improve health care long before it became popular. To me, knowing that all of our years of labor uh, could result in many more millions of people getting coverage that don't have it today, that's a dream fulfilled. We kind of knew that we were adding another bill to our you know, lifestyle, so we wanted to keep it under $200. And so just plugging that in, then a whole list, you know, of really great plans came up. Being kind of somewhat comfortable just in general with search engines, you know, and it just seemed that e-health insurance just kind of wrapped it all up for us. 